A bank customer presents a check to be cashed at a branch where she is unknown. No problem, though. In a matter of seconds, the teller can verify the signature with the one on file at the customer's own branch, even though it's many miles away. He does it by means of industrial television. The camera picks up the identity card and transmits the image to a small screen in front of the waiting teller for comparison with the signature on the check. Just one of a host of applications for industrial TV that have been developed by the Diamond Power Specialty Corporation of Lancaster, Ohio. Here, a glass blower is busy fabricating the shell of a main tube for one of the company's cameras. These people, for many years, built things like soot blowers, boiler gauge glasses, and other equipment used principally by power companies. They got into television because they and their customers at an early date spotted the potential of TV for handling jobs like looking into furnaces, observing smokestacks, even checking on visitors arriving at the plant gates. Now they're in television with both feet. Here a skilled worker puts together some of the electronic components of the tube. Unlike tubes used in studio cameras, which have a very limited life, these industrial tubes last almost indefinitely, even if operated 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as many of them are. The job of assembling these things requires two years of training. Here's one of the finished tubes, the device that scans a scene and transforms it into electrical impulses, which can then be sent over wires or through the air and reconverted into a picture at the other end. Of course, the camera contains a lot more than just a main tube. Many of the utiloscopes are mounted in an outdoor housing to protect them against the weather. One use for such an assembly, noting the arrival or departure of trucks at a garage or warehouse. Without the protective housing, the television camera has important applications in hospitals, in the training of doctors, or in helping overworked staffs do a better job, as in this case, by letting a nurse attend to other duties while still keeping a close eye on a patient requiring special attention. Many electronics engineers feel that it's in ways like this that television will make its biggest contribution to our way of life.